What is going on, Fracture Compass fans? I'm Mike. I'm Bree. <laughs> And today we're going to be doing a Halloween Horror Nights tips and tricks video for y'all. That's right. Um, so before I, before I even like look in the comment section, yes, I am wearing this shirt. It is unbuttoned, but it's also like 95 degrees out, and it's so hot. Yo, so I'm not trying to be sexy. I just this is this is what you get, fam. I don't know where you guys live, but over here, for some reason, we have a heat wave, and I'm done with it. Yeah, it's fall. And I don't want it to be 100 degrees anymore. And like, no lie, the AC bill is so expensive, so we're not really running it. Uh, anyway, so, <laughs> um, so let's talk about Halloween Horror Nights. As you know, it is opening for Fan Preview Night on the 12th, which yes. is next Thursday. So we're here, guys. It is Halloween season. It is time. Um, I'm very excited. How are you feeling? I'm... Wow, I'm I'm feeling wow. I'm feeling wow. <laughs> I'm feeling so overwhelmed. It is six days. It is September 6th today. It is Gosh. in six days that I know Universal kicks off and I was at a not scary farm meeting last night and one person came up to me and was like, hey, are you gonna be filming any more like horror nights, any more knots, any more uh, Dark Harbor and I was like uh, and we are like six days away from Universal kickoff actual event and I'm like That might be the next video <laughs> no, Well, no, no, it's not no, going to no. be it's not going to be but it it kicked me into the reality that Wow, we are six days away from these events starting to kick off. Yeah, and that is a oh my god I'm And so it's excited. it's kind of crazy too because we are going to be pretty much done with most of the events by the end of September So September is gonna be crazy for us and expect a lot of content. We are going to Halloween Horror Nights We're going to not scary farm. We're going to haunted hayride. We're going to oogie boogie bash and that's just in September alone um, Yes, but let's let's tackle this. Let's talk about Halloween Horror Nights. So I think what we're gonna do for this video is we're gonna talk about just like general admission. Yeah. Because obviously there's gonna be a difference if you get front of the line, there's a different kind of plan of attack and tips and tricks for that as opposed to just getting general admission. Usually the glory of getting front of the line is that you don't really need to have a game plan all that much. You can just coast through the night. That's essentially what you're paying for is, is you know what? No matter what I do, I'm going to be able to write everything guaranteed. Mm -hmm. With that being said, I do know that there are there is a good way to make sure to get the most bang for your buck with front of the line, um, and we can kind of maybe touch upon that. You know, early entry, not using your front of the line and being able to write things, and then using it later when it gets busy. I know that, I get that, but I think we're going to be talking to the viewers out there who are getting just general admission because. Let's be real, Halloween Horror Nights is expensive this year. It's not cheap. Nope. And I think the cheapest ticket that I was looking at was $63. And that's at the base, like September, you're going the 13th, like not on a Saturday. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's what most people are looking at. And it's a fun way for us to kind of look at the park and go, how can we tackle this? Yeah without any insurance policies, without anything else, without front of the line, you know, just... Yeah. I paid for general admission, and I'm in. Go. Go. So, <laughs> well, let's talk about it. Okay, so there's a couple things that you can do with general admission that I believe will overall make your entire night better. Step one, you need to get in your car by, like, uh, you need to get 3 o'clock. You need to fill your tank with some gas. In the afternoon. Three yeah. o'clock in the afternoon because we know how Hollywood traffic is. Yeah. Poop, okay. Poop before you go into the park. Nobody's going to the bathroom. Eat. We're just going, <laughs> right? I don't care if it takes two hours. Hollywood traffic is the worst, all yeah. right? Admission is going to start at 545. Remember, you still have to get through security. Yeah. Okay, you're not getting around that. So as long as those security lines are, that's what's going to be the biggest holdup. Yeah. At 6 p.m., your butt should be going through the gates. You hear that? Your butt should be in that park. In, in. the park. So we're in the gates. Yes. Where are we going, Mike? Uh, okay, well, so for early admission, um, they are opening up select mazes. Now, this one's kind of tricky because sometimes the they open up the back lot. 
Sometimes they or open up the uh, the lower lot, and we don't know what they're going to open up this year. But typically, it's it's in that lower area of Universal Studios. Um, last year, they opened up Trick or Treat and Stranger Things. We went straight to Stranger Things. The reason being is that that is probably going to be at last year that was the most popular IP maze, and so we knew that we wanted to hit that one up as soon as possible. Um, and it really did pay through because that line was consistency. Consistency. English is hard. <laughs> that line was consistently long all night. And so what I can best give the advice to you guys is that when you guys do go to the early entry, whatever maze that they're offering that you guys can go through, choose the one that you think is going to be more popular. So let's say, for instance, they have Creepshow open and Ghostbusters and then something else. Go to whatever one you think is going to be the most popular. In my opinion, between those two, it would be Ghostbusters. I think Ghostbusters is going to be a very, very popular maze. Um, so just pick and choose. I don't know if it's going to be the lower lot. I don't know if it's going to be the back lot. It goes back and forth. But again, if they opened up Killer Clowns and Stranger Things, I'm going to go through the Stranger Things maze. I, I am excited for Killer Clowns, but I just think that Stranger Things is, has more of a universal... Universal. <laughs> Universal appeal to mm -hmm. modern audiences now, and more people are going to be flocking to that than Killer Clowns from the 80s, even though it's a really good movie, and I love it. So, Fantastic. for this advice, follow your gut, take advantage of the early entry, and, and go on whatever maze you think is going to be the most popular out of the decisions they give you, out of the choices. Let's go to tip number two. And tip number two, I would have to say, is avoid the Walking Dead maze. Um, don't need to go on it. Don't need to go on it. It's it's not worth the line. Uh, um, to some people it is, I guess I should say, but it, it's a year-round attraction, so it's not like you have to go on it during Halloween Horror Nights in order to feel like you're not going to miss it. it right. It's year-round, so avoid it. You don't need to go through that. Unless you want to. I don't recommend it. Um, tip number three for Halloween Horror Nights for sure is... Um, Get front of the line. <laughs> so tip number three. Tip number three. I would say avoid hitting up House of a Thousand Corpses, which is the first maze that you can enter as soon as you get into the park. It's where the Water World Cue is. Water World Cue is. <laughs> I'm having. It's been a really long day. Anyway, and it's hot. So. It's right. so hot. Um. Because a lot of people are going to be just flocking to that maze because it's the first thing that they see, and so. Usually that, that line dies down towards the end of the night. And so I would recommend saving House of a Thousand Corpses for last. Um, Where's House of a Thousand Corpses? It's the Waterworld queue. It's going to be Waterworld? Yeah, it's at the Waterworld queue. That, huh? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people are going to be going there at first, so I would just avoid it and save that one for last. Uh, another thing, too, is once you guys are doing the, the early entry mazes, wherever the mazes are, so let's say for some reason they decide to make it holidays in hell which is in the the french quarter area mm -hmm. um just hit up the mazes that are around that area try to just work your way from top to bottom or bottom to top um it wouldn't make sense to just go back and forth back and forth uh, but again this could all be terribly wrong i mean this year at halloween horror nights is going to be significantly different we're not going to have the terror tram we're not but i i do agree with the fact that like if you're in a section stay in that section go Grind through those it. mazes because the back lot is the back lot. We're going through Toxic Tunnel. You're all the way back there. You're getting in your steps for sure when you're going there. Right. Ooh, nice catch on the cell phone. You're all the way back there. <laughs> you're, all, you're all the way back there. There's no point to come back up to even go into the lower lot to like deal with that and then go back into the back lot and go back through that tunnel. I know, and then those escalators, there's like, man. There's no point. So if you're in the back lot, stay in the back lot. Yeah. Do those... What, three, three, four mazes? Yeah. Just in the back lot alone. Yeah. What, is there four mazes? Oh, uh, you know what? So we have Creepshow back there, mm -hmm. Wolfman versus Frankenstein, Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Us? And us. And that, yeah. Yeah. So those four mazes are down there, so. Is it us? Uh, you know what? I know it's Creepshow, Ghostbusters, yeah. and, and Wolfman versus yeah. Frankenstein. And that, okay, so sure. that's three for sure down there um when you're in the lower lot stay in the lower lot do stranger things do killer clowns 
don't leave that area until you're done because yeah. then you're coming all the way back up to those escalators to do house of a thousand corpses to do holidays in hell yeah. and last year we did uh universal monsters was the last maze that we went in yeah. and we waited well we had front of the line but the line for it was not that long it was, it was the end of the night and people were just going in yeah and I have a, I, I just, I know that the lower lot gets busier as the night progresses mm -hmm. and the upper lot gets less busy. And so, as I said, with House of a Thousand Corpses, again, hit up, try to get that lower lot area out of the way if you can, and then work your way up. But again, I could be wrong. I personally, like you, don't see House of a Thousand Corpses being that long of a line. I just don't. Like towards the end of the night? Towards the end of the night or... Oh, I think it's going to be... I think it's gonna be really busy towards the beginning when people right. are being let in. Because it's just it's the first. It's the first thing. It's the first thing. You yeah, play. but towards so the end of the night, in. it's not. I don't no. think it's going to be. Towards the end of the night, I no. think it's gonna be empty. I think people have moved further, further back into that park. I definitely think Stranger Things is going to be a constant busy. Yes. If not till the end, because it's Stranger Things, Killer Clowns is gonna be a constant busy. Yeah. Ghostbusters is gonna be a constant busy. Um, I think House and and. Us? Holidays in hell, Holidays in hell. is going to be kind of, yeah, you know, people are going to have done it and been done. So, yeah, head to that back areas. This is again the first time that we're going to have ten mazes at Halloween Horror Nights, no terror tram, and so I'm I'm really guessing here. Um, and terror I, tram's going to save us time. It really is. I honestly, it's going Ter to save us Terror time. Tram last year was just a kind of a logistical nightmare. It it took so long to just get through the actual walkthrough. Mm -hmm. um, it, that, took, it, it took so much time of our night. It took us 20 minutes to even get on it, if not a little longer. It took us 25 to 30 minutes to get through. The, yeah, the because they had a, they, another line. Yeah, that they put us in, and then we came back. That's almost an hour and a half of your time, yeah. really. Like, like, so having that obstacle taken out, Yeah. more time. And, and it was weird. They had this, like... When you get up, when you're going through the hotel and you get up to the Norman Bates Psycho House, they had another line that you had to wait in before you can go into the plane crash area, and it just, it was long. It took us a long time to get through it, and we were all looking at each other, and I was like, it's time for, this is just a waste of our time, you yeah. know? We, we could be being more efficient. So, um, let's talk about the shows. So, again... One show. One show, the Jabberwockies. And, uh, you know, I like it. I do like that show. They are very talented. Um, if you guys are really set on seeing the show, I would recommend doing it again towards, like, the later time in the evening, not the first couple of shows because it gets crazy. Uh, Brie has feelings about the show. <laughs> I like it. I think they're, I think they're talented. Um, oh, I, I don't doubt that it's they're It's not talented. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure by any means. If you like dancing... Go see it. Go see the show. I'm not saying they're not talented. They are talented. Yeah. It's just not my style of show. I wish they would darken up the show. Yeah. Um, Academy of Villains in Orlando, they Halloween theme their show. Yeah. They darken it up a little bit. I like it better. Yeah. But, again, for people who love the Jabberwockies, I've been watching them since they were on the dance show and they were a nobody. They're talented. I just don't feel like wasting my time seeing the show. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. That's just me. So food. Yeah. Let's talk about food. Let's talk about it. We always eat before we get into Universal Studios because, let's just face it, it's theme park food. And oh, it's damn. it's expensive. Oh, damn. You went there. I know. I was going to be like, just because, you know, don't wait on the lines. It's efficient. But you just went there with the theme park No, food. I went there. It's theme park food. It's expensive. And the Universal City food, City Walk food, is so much better. Yeah. And you get more bang for your buck. Yeah. So if you can avoid eating inside the theme park because a hot dog is like $10, yeah. like, do it. Because for $10, I can get... Chinese food, I can get Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets, like something. We ate at Johnny Rockets. There was like a twelve of us, right? That ate yeah, and it wasn't all that packed, but it does get packed in the park getting yeah. for food. Now, I uh, so that's definitely an early lunch because we'll eat around like four thirty, and we do get a little hungry as the night goes on, and we'll go and we just like to eat the snacks. We've never really had a problem waiting in line for the snacks because there's no. so many vendors and there's so many 
people selling stuff that we've never had to wait in a long line getting like the Voodoo Donut special Halloween Horror Night or a blood bag or anything. So a blood bag. Yeah, they, had, like, they a, I know they sell yeah. it's like a candy. Red so snack. yeah, um, I, that's a recommendation: is eat before you eat before you go into the park. Because who has to waste time in line getting food because you're yeah. hungry? Like you yeah. could be in a maze line. Yeah. To be honest with you. And also, the same thing applies to merch, you know. If you guys want, usually at the um, Universal Studio store in um, City Walk, right next to the entrance, they usually have most of the Halloween Horror Nights merch there. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to save time, you know, before you go into the park, just look around and after dinner and just see what they have there. That's usually what I do. I always go to a Universal Studio store in City Walk and buy a t-shirt that I'm really set on. Mm -hmm. And then that way I don't have to buy it when I'm in Halloween Horror Nights. It's yeah. set. It's done. It's done. I mean, I did buy a couple things um, in the lower lot last year that were Stranger Things. Yeah. But I didn't I didn't wait in a long line because yeah. everybody's just kind of running around. So. And that's just our preference. We've never, it's, it's never had a wait like hours to like buy merchandise it's always been like super easy yeah there were some things they were selling like full-blown masks yeah and i'm all they were selling killer clowns masks last year they were and like, i was like shadowing like hello. you're not allowed to obviously wear the mask so would you have to go back to your car and put it away would you have to just carry yeah. it all night i think they would just put it in a bag or they would like maybe hold it and like send it yeah somewhere because oh. that was another thing too that people were making comments about if if you buy a mask that they sell at the, you know, Halloween Horror Nights merchandise, you can't wear it. No. You cannot wear it at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, so keep that in mind. But other than that, I think that really just covers it for the general mission side of Halloween Horror Nights. Get there early, work your way from bottom to top or top to bottom, however you want to do it. We prefer bottom to top. Yes, but stay in a section yeah. until you are done in that section. Yeah, choose the most popular IP maze for the early entry and uh, have fun is really the biggest tip we can give you. Yeah. Go in <laughs> that was there, corny. Go in there with just a it is what it is attitude yeah. and go with the flow. Now, real quick for uh, front of the line people, uh, my and this is what we're going to do. This is our plan of attack. Mm -hmm. We always do early entry and we do not use our front of the line pass until we absolutely have to. We try to hit up everything we can without using our front of the line pass. That way we can go through it twice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also honestly the biggest tip that I can give you for front of the line pass holders. But really when you have front of the line, the night's a breeze. You're just coasting. So you know, um, I'm sure there's other tips and tricks. And please leave us a comment down below what your guys' tip and trick is for Halloween Horror Nights and whether or not you guys get front of the line or if you guys have general admission tips. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I'm really, really excited. I cannot I wait. I really, I, I can't believe it's here. It, doesn't it just feel like we've been climbing this mountain of like getting to Halloween Horror Nights, getting to the scare far scary farm, and it's just... It's, it's almost surreal that it's here now. I, I like, oh my god. Life yeah. is like 60 miles an hour right now. No. Life's like 100 miles an hour right now. <laughs> I'm all 60. Get in the like, slow lane. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm so excited. We're going to be hitting up Halloween Horror Nights on the 12th. We'll be hitting up Not Scary Farm on the 19th. Remember, guys, if you see us, say hi. We are not going to bite. Right. Well, she will. I might. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> um, for those monsters out there that are watching this, and if you're a Halloween Horror Nights monster, if you can scare us, we will give you a skeleton keychain or a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin bell on the sly. Um, and if you are out there and you see us and you're a regular person, come up and tell us one of the rules of Halloween, yeah. and we will also give you one as well. And don't be shy to come say hi to us. I mean, we... we I think we're nice people. We love our fans because remember we don't have a <laughs> Bree's channel. like, hold the phone. We're not nice people, but we are nice to the fans. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> but it is. It's really nice meeting you guys, and we love your energy, so please come say hi. Yeah, we love it. We love you. And we don't have a channel without you, and we know it. So. You're better than us, and you and know, know it. it. <laughs> so, once again, very excited. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't. And comment down below what 
your trick or tip is for Halloween Horror Nights? That's right. Share with the community. And always be ready. Because you never know where your compass will take you.